Hello, this is Jeff. Welcome to doing nothing. I hope to make you very good at this, very good at the skill of doing nothing, in order to unwind all your good work habits and ruin you for future employment, all in the name of spiritual freedom. Just kidding. Sort of. So the idea of this practice is to do your best to not control things in any way. So you sit like a samurai and you literally do not do a thing. Your attitude is basically that nothing needs to be any different. The moment is totally fine as it is, even if you're lost in a blender of neurotic thinking. Of course, the irony of this kind of meditation is that it often stresses people out, especially type A's. So many of us are in a panic to get shit done, to check items off our existential to-do lists, and that's fine. But this practice is about seeing if we can subversively reverse that momentum a bit and actually and truly relax. We'll start with a basic concentration practice, and then we'll move into the do-nothing piece for a contrast. So, let's give it a shot. Okay, so we start in the usual way. Close your eyes if that's your go-to. Take a few deep breaths. And as you exhale, really settling in the body, softening the face. So right here at the beginning, we set our attitude of openness and easygoingness. Just exploring, nothing to get uptight about. We're sitting with our eyes closed or open, getting ready to do nothing. It's hard to imagine the stakes being any lower. For the first few minutes of this meditation, let's start by seeing how deliberately concentrated you can get. We're not yet doing nothing, we're doing something and working our way up to doing nothing. So for now, choose an object. It can be the breath, belly, hands, seat, sounds. And try your best to hold that direction. See if you can find some enjoyment in this opportunity to do just this one thing. To feel, to breathe, to listen. Nothing else you need to do. If your mind wanders, you bring it back. If it helps, you can note in as you breathe in, or you can note out as you breathe out, or you can note feel. Whatever helps get you focused.
as you get into the meditation, your breathing may start to slow naturally. See how still you can be. The stiller you are, the subtler and deeper you may go. Okay, now we make our big shift. For the remainder of the meditation, drop all noting, if you were noting. The idea is to stop trying to control your experience in any way and to let your attention just spontaneously be pulled where it gets pulled, settling where it settles. Drop every attempt to deliberately focus on anything and just do nothing. Let go and drift. It may feel strange at first, but try to surrender to the experience. See what happens.
So the instruction here is to simply let whatever happens happen without striving, without adding anything, without needing to micromanage the experience in any way. You're just completely backing off and letting the whole ball of yarn unspool all on its own. If that means you get spaced out or end up helplessly replaying the stupidest conversation you've ever had with yourself, then so be it. It's all fine. In a really gentle way, we're working to unclench the part of our brains that thinks it needs to endlessly negotiate with every little moment, to make all these adjustments, to prove ourselves and improve ourselves, to get it right. But you don't have to get anything right here or prove anything to anyone. It's okay. You can just be. When we loosen up, we make room for new things to visit. Part of this practice is about trusting that we'll be okay. Really see if you can rest here.
no longer even meditating at all. Let nature meditate you. You're being meditated. This is the ultimate passive meditation. When you're ready, open your eyes, look around the room, and enjoy the rest of your day or night, inviting in the possibility that taking time to do nothing might actually result in giving you, well, something. Good luck with this practice. See you next time.